Sup guys, Snapmeister. Welcome back to another episode of the LP. Yeah, I know this is the third one for today. I just like can't stop playing Minecraft Survival, especially with this jungle biome. And I didn't really build anything. I'm planning to do all of the building on camera, but the boring stuff like mining off camera. And I, I did build this little contraption. Basically, it's a very, very basic egg farm. Every once in a while, I'll just walk up, collect an egg, and then I'll just throw it back in to try to spawn another chicken. I only have one chicken in it so far though, so yeah. I'm going to try to get more and then breed them and then just get a ton of chickens producing me eggs. Even though I can't really use them for anything. But I can also kill them and get meat and yeah. This chest with my stuff in it because right before I started recording I um, died of hunger. That seems to be happening to me quite a lot, which is very, very annoying because there's not really anything I can do about it. E the apples haven't really been helping, there's no, they don't heal enough, they don't restore enough hunger, I mean. But yeah, as you can see, I got like iron and gold and redstone and lapis lazuli That's, and a few slime balls and a ton of coal, all that sort of stuff. But no diamonds though. Basically, what happened was I was mining right in this um, cave thing right here. I, well, I was mining and then I hit a cave system and explored it. It's absolutely massive. I'm, I, I don't even think I've begun to scratch the surface on it. And yeah, um, so yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I was mining and I found it and I was like, oh, okay, and I just explored it and got a ton of resources. But the issue is, I still only have this one furnace, and one that I have down in my, um, in a ravine I found down there. It's, it's a double ravine with lava in it, so I think we will probably get another portal next episode, but whatever. Um, today I have a project to be working on since I got all this stuff, and I can't smelt it yet. We're going to be building a furnace room. And I found exactly where I want to build it. So, yeah, we'll head up there. It's going to be first tree house. And it's almost night time. Uh, and so, I was looking for a while. Found a pretty good tree. Um, wait, no, it wasn't that one. That one behind it, right there. Because I was I was judging it based on closeness and to other trees and height. So basically there's a whole group of trees in that area which are about the same height. And so yeah, I decided those would be my trees which I would rope bridge together and make into my base and stuff like that. And yeah, but the nice thing about trees is they already have a built-in climbing system because see these vines they grew while I was playing so I just climb up to the top probably install a better system later maybe I don't know an elevator of some sort um, and I guess I will start uh, like yeah chopping down this tree can't go very quickly though because I'm pressing shift on a vines and when you press shift I discovered this today actually um, it turns out that you will actually um oh sup dude oh no uh oh uh well better be prepared to just be randomly teleported upon and like attacked alright well uh whatever then I guess I, he might be stuck down there uh or he, or he might have died. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Scared me so much. Um, I don't know what I can do about this. <laughs> but action to start off the episode. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, those trees. Bridge all those together. So I just planted it out. Alright, but for this one... I'm going to build the furnace room. I don't know what I'm going to do about this enderman though. Uh, 
Or hey. This is not going to end well. Because it's got that bug with those two vines placed in the same block. Oh no! Oh jeez! Ah oh, man. Well. <laughs> Sorry, still got this cough. Um, well, of course, I still have got this cough. It's like the exact same day. Uh, there we go. Slept. And yeah. Alright, let's go grab our stuff. These vines actually slow you down if you walk past them, which is kind of annoying. What's up, zombie? Yes, just park all around you. Sorry, 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 sorry. Really, really sorry about that. Where are you? Alright, is that our stuff? Well, I have, like, nothing on me. I'm sure I had another stack of wood, though. Whatever, it's no huge loss. I got heaps of those. Alright, oh, here it is. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess I'll go back up to the tree. Oh, climb back up the tree. And start work on this furnace room. So I got my furnaces right here. Gonna have a central point where they are, which they are all going to be accessible by. And I guess that will be this 2x2 two two area in the middle. And yeah. Okay, so let's uh, start building the um, furnace room. So I'm going to build it out of wood. No, wait, not there, though. Basically, it's going to be simple yet practical. Probably install something more complicated later. Actually. You know, I think I'll just make these into one of those spiral trees to get up here. Because the spiral trees actually have a really nice design. Like, the spiral trees that I use to build. And they're pretty simple to design. So yeah. Ocelot glitching out down there. Oh, actually, you know what I can do now? And there's another guy who can give me some more of that. Yeah, I am. Um, while exploring, I got attacked by mobs. I didn't turn it on to peaceful for the mining or exploration or anything. So I got attacked by quite a lot of mobs and um, never died from a mob, but did. I I was like constantly dying from hunger. All right, no eggs in there. Where's that spider we saw? Oh, I just need to rearrange my mouse wire for a second. It's getting in the way of stuff. Um, uh, he must have gone. He must have left. Whatever. Probably gonna end up climbing back up there and seeing him again. Alright, but um. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, craft a fishing rod. And maybe by the end, by the end of the S os ugh, not ocelot. That's what I'm gonna try to tame. By the end of the episode, we will have an ocelot tamed. Alright, fishing rod. Sweet. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Let's wait for a second. Fishing's really, really boring, so yeah. It's probably gonna be the only fish I'll try to catch on camera. Ah, oh, yeah, and I caught it. Nice. Alright. I don't think one is enough to tame an ocelot. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll catch it later. I mean, I'll tame it later, and then I then all I have to do is get a second one, and we'll have a ton of ocelots to keep creepers away from our base. All right. So we were starting on the furnace room. All right. So wood floor. Alright, and 
get this wood floor going then. I'm going to I'm gonna see if uh where my face finds. Um Uh, what the reaching distance? Well, I I know the reaching distance is six blocks away, but I got to consider a few other things. So, standing right here, uh, can reach. Uh, let me just. I can reach here, here, and. Oh, actually, will this be one block up? Probably not. But and uh, here. So I can reach there, there, and there, and maybe even on top of that. No, not on top of it. All right. All experimentation. Uh, so I guess that's a good boundary to put my furnaces. Okay. So. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have. This is gonna be annoying to do. Uh, hey, I just thought of another good idea. Wow, really? Oh, geez, what is with me and falling off trees today? I mean, seriously. First, there was that Enderman, and I guess that's like sort of um, that's sort of understandable if you're getting attacked by an Enderman and he pushes you out of a tree. But just like walking off one, I mean, seriously. Uh, Alright, so what was I doing what, before I got knocked off here? Oh yeah, I was setting up somewhere that you would... that I'm gonna place the furnaces. Alright. So, yeah. Hmm, what to talk about, what to talk about. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, I am thinking of playing an adventure map. But I have no idea which one yet. Um, probably be a super hostile map. Those are always great and fun. And I'm getting that error yet. I found out what was causing it, by the way. Um, I had I had a mod installed, and I'm not going to say which one because then people will get ticked off at the maker of it. Um, which basically it had a memory leak in it, which is never a good thing. And, um, it messed up my RAM, so I just deleted all the files for that mod off my computer. And now, I'm not sure if this is how RAM works, but basically I'm just going to not have it exist on my computer, and hopefully that fixes my RAM. I, I think it probably will because uh, it won't try to be accessing my um, computer because the mod won't be running. I'm just eating up this wood. Alright, sweet. Almost done with this base for it. A nice lot down there. Yeah, there's a nice lot down there. Alright. Okay, I actually have an idea for what I'm going to do for the corners, so jungle, wood, and I think I'm going to go check if I have any normal wood. Alright. Also check if the chicken has laid an egg or not. Oh, he hasn't, but we have a visitor. <laughs> Trying to eat my chicken. Whoa. Oh yeah, ocelots don't take full damage. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, wow! One fish and the rarest cat that you can get. 
at the very beginning. Wow. Okay. Sweet. Oh. Yep, follow me. Follow me. Dude, follow me. I'm gonna need a, na need a name for this guy. Uh, stop trying to hunt the chicken. It, it's it's a pet as well. You do not hunt the chicken. Bad cat. Alright. Come back here, man. Come back here. It always gets to this certain point and then just... Just, like, stops. I guess I'll place him here. He'll keep creepers away anyway. Oh, whoops. Falling off a tree again. Oh yeah, I was checking if I had any roll wood yet left when um that guy came. Now, the issue with ocelots is if you take damage from a mob, they'll teleport towards you even if they even though they can't really do anything. Oh, I have plenty of this stuff. A anything to um stop the mob. Uh they'll just teleport to you because I think they may have used the same coding for wolves um teleportation and staying system as they did for the cats and yeah so they just attack uh, they, they'll just teleport to you if you're getting attacked um, so yeah what do we need yeah name for the wolf so if you have a if you can think of a good name for the wolf just post a comment and yeah pretty much that's that's all I guess um, except for don't make the comment don't make the name really stupid name although having said that I'm probably gonna end up with tons of trolls just trolling me now being like oh check out this stupid name but whatever I'm just gonna be cheap and not uh, put any um, or oh, not bother to put any uh, blocks here Right, there we go. <laughs> nice. Alright, so what was it? It was like three blocks high. Alright. So just get my, my planks. Oh, hey, I got an idea for the roof, but it means I'll have to save the roof for a different episode because it will involve glass and glass is one of the resources I have one of the very basic resources I have yet to get in my LP for some reason oh you know what No, sometimes I just wish I wasn't super OCD. I'm moving this one over because otherwise I'd have a double door. And I do not like double doors very much. They're very glitchy and not friendly. Not user friendly. Alright, sweet. We're getting this done pretty quickly. Oh, then we should have uh, some... Ah, oh, I just got a good idea as well. Yeah, I'm just getting tons of good ideas today. Alright. Hmm, I should really find an alternative to these stone tools, but I'm just waiting till I have the furnace room set up to smelt anything. Alright, sweet. Get another stone axe. Crafting table checkerboard in the floor. It's one of my all-time favorite Patterns, the crafting table checkerboard. Alright, I guess I will craft. Need a bit, quite a few more. You know, I, I don't think I'm as OCD as other people, because, um. 
I can I can deal so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five more. Um I can deal with stuff being off center as you saw for my house. So yeah. Oh that's where bl bug it still showed the um crafting table in the this thing. Yeah, in the that thing. Perfectly good choice of words there. Yep, there we go. Looks very nice. User friendly. All the stuff I like in having something in Minecraft. Except uh, now I am out of furnaces to use. Alright, whatever. We also need lighting. Probably after I do go to the nether. Well, after we go to the nether, because I'm, that's one of the things I'm going to record for, I will um, replace this with this um, wood in the floor with glowstone. Uh, let me see how that jungle biome and normal wood uh, pattern looks. Is that a, yeah, there's another ocelot trying to ch attack my chicken. Yeah, what is up with this? No. Okay. Uh, that's a weird bug. It's like head is detached from its body. Yeah, and its head and its front legs are detached from its body. And I guess that's. I guess its body just shifted forwards and. All right, whatever. That is a really weird thing. Oh, hey, there was an egg in there. Gotta try to aim for the grass. Nope. No chicken. Alright, sweet. I think, uh, oh yeah, also I did some exploring off camera and went to a swamp biome and got some lily pads, so I s just set up a quick lily pad bridge right there. Alright, let's see. Uh, any more stone? No, I do not have any more stone, so. I guess I'll just check the time and see if I should end the episode, and if not, I have another project I'm planning. Yeah, I just checked the time, um, we got eight more minutes, so it's a lot of time to do stuff. I guess I will also grab this furnace and put that up there, though. Alright, so the other pro project is, um, basically dealing, still a glitchy ocelot there, dealing with my um, my food sh shortage because I don't really fancy dying every time I'm like just basically wander too far from my base and then having to rush to place down a chest put all my items in and then like yeah basically just rush back up and stuff rush get my um or go and find my chest because that happened too much and it's really annoying if that happens to you when you're playing minecraft All right, let's see if i can do this no oh i did it i thought i was going to make that alright sweet so let's start this spiral staircase up oh hey and the vines will s no the vines won't stay be nice if I could find a way to make them stay though. I guess I'll j I can just replace them afterwards. Alright, sweet. Hmm. So, um, I came up with a few designs which aren't really very helpful legitly, but really helpful in creative mode. Or, if you're on a server and you want to be really generous to the people who um, play on your server, so I'll be posting those soon. Maybe. <laughs> it, it, it It's pretty simple design and pro someone's probably already thought of it. It's just, I just like uploading and making videos and stuff. Even if, like, a ton of people troll on it and all that sort of stuff. That that 
doesn't isn't that green flickering thing just the most annoying thing ever? I mean seriously. I need to find a way to fix this. If someone can um tell me a way to fix it, uh then that would be really, really appreciated. Because it's kind of messing with my recording a lot. It hasn't messed with my frame rates at all, but it's mainly just been my recording that's messed with. Oh hey, the vines yeah, the vines stayed. Sweet. Awesome. And now I need a crafting table there. Yeah, what if I can just craft one in my inventory? Hmm. And Yep, can access them all. Alright. So yeah, we got fi about five more minutes on this video. I'll go down the tree. Check how it looks from at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Just gotta rearrange my mouse wire again. And I love these trees so much. Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that works really well. I was sort of afraid that the spiral effect wouldn't really work that well, but the vines sort of blend it and make it look really, really nice. Hmm. Gotta fix those sleeves though. Building doesn't look very out of place and the... Well, those things look pretty good. Let's see if I can get you into my house. Stop following that chicken, seriously. Oh, skeleton. I will deal with you tomorrow. Oh, hey, I'm surprised that it didn't come up with a you may not rest now, there are mobs nearby. I'm probably going to walk out and just get shot instantly. Oh hey, I didn't. And my cat's right there. Why aren't you looking at me, man? Seriously. Uh, hmm. I wonder how he spawned, because there don't appear to be any other mobs spawned. Good. You got my front entrance. Make sure no creepers get in my house. So it's stuck. Up. Oh, that ocelot's gone. Now I got another egg. This thing really starting to work. Oh no! Oh, I broke it on the half sub. Whatever. Alright, where is that? That's right there. No, I had, I was gonna grab some, uh, some seeds to, to, uh, like, what was it again? To, um, be able to uh, make a farm. Any seeds shot by that? They probably all just washed away into caves and stuff. Yeah, probably down here. Whatever, I can't be bothered to go down and get them. Oh, wait! They're right here! Sweet! Nice, alright. Up, oh, uprooted that sapling, or whatever. Oh yeah, I, d I discovered something interesting. Um, it might be a bug, but it may also be intended. Uh, normal leaf trees, when they're grown, they will overwrite, overwrite the, um, jungle biome, like, leaves. So if you grow a normal tree near your house, it will, and your house has jungle biome leaves on it, it will, uh, well, near enough to your house for the leaves to grow into it, it will overwrite the leaves on your house, which is kind of annoying. You have to replace it, and if you have something like I ha do with the vine windows, 
Huh, I want to see what this looks like in first person. Oh yeah. Spider guy. Um yeah, then the vi then the vines will uh uproot themselves. You know, ten should be good for now. And of course, I'm already almost dying. From starvation. Right, I really, really quickly craft a hoe. I already had the materials for a hoe in my inventory. And uh yeah. Well looks like we're about to end for today. Oh bone mill. Where's the bone mill? Here it is. Um just try to outside my house and grow it. There we go. Let's convert that back to dirt. Um, craft some wheat and we'll get a proper farm going up later, but for now... I'd like to thank you for watching, and Napmeister out.